Hi, my name is Lauren. Um, I don't know if my first intro I did for this video is any good. So this is what I'm going to turn my hair into. I have quite um, thin and fine hair, which I am totally happy with. Um, well, let me scratch that out. Um, I accept that that's what I have and I deal with it and I never thought extensions were for me. That was on a clap. Um, extensions were for me. So um, I just always thought it was an option. And I just got to a point, I was playing with my little sister's gorgeous, beautiful, long, dark brown hair, what I used to have, which was naturally this long, um, probably when I was about her age, 15, 16. And I was just like, what can I do? You know, I, I've been going through stage, I'm completely honest and I'm very open about mental health and how I feel about things and my confidence and I have a wonderful life. I am very blessed, I'm very lucky and I have a wonderful friends and family group around me but I do struggle sometimes with my mental health in terms of you know feeling down about myself and comparing myself to others and it does get me down sometimes. I, I am working on myself and if I can find ways to do it without relying on other people's judgments and you know but doing Getting the luxy hairs have meant a lot to me because um, I think a hair is a woman's crown. These make me feel more me. And if I'm doing it for me to feel more me, I feel more aligned with myself and I get back on track. And it's one less thing of worries. <laughs> Got 99 problems about my hair at one right now. Uh, <laughs> so cringe. Um, yeah, and if that's not one, I just feel it's giving me more confidence. So I'm going to stop rambling and I'll probably fast forward bits of this. And like I said, this is my first video and yeah, I bit the bullet and I've done it. So I hope you enjoy. You'll see my next video clip if I'm going to put it afterwards um, of what my natural hair looks like and me doing this process of how I do it. And like I've said, I've only worn them about four or five times. Um, and styled them myself and I think over time I'll get better and better with it and like I said I put purple shampoo in my hair the other day which I really shouldn't have because it cools my hair down when really I'm trying to go more of the warmer tones which is like the extensions but I hope you enjoy and thanks. I naturally have always had quite thin and fine hair and I never thought extensions were really an option for me. Um, until I was referred to by a friend that Luxy is actually really good. I thought while I'm at it, I'll show you exactly how thin and fine my hair is. There's not much I'm working with. So what you're gonna need, coffee to start as always. Um, I keep my hair in this little black travel bag, um, suit looking thing. Um, I'm probably gonna ramble a lot and say um, as I'm not really used to talking to a camera yet. So yeah, these hair is, these hair? <laughs> this hair is the Luxie hair. I bought this case off eBay because I didn't really want to invest so much from the start just to see how I get on with extensions. And so this is kind of like my trial run with it. Um, so yeah, it comes in the suitcase. <laughs> I'm sure my boyfriend's like, what? Um, yeah, it looks like a suitcase, but um, yeah, to, you know, keep all my hair in here, hold all my extensions. Um, this is the Luxie hair that comes in Dirty Blonde. It's 16 inches from the Classic Collection. Um, I didn't want anything too long because I want to wear it for work and, you know, I don't know, it takes a little bit of confidence being able to wear like super long hair. So if you can do that, go you. I'm building my confidence to that. Um, so yeah, it comes on these. Yeah, so you get eight pieces, I believe. If I'm wrong, I'll correct it. Um, but I only wear about four, just because of having thin hair. Don't feel pressured to wear them all, because I notice I end up seeing, if I put all of them in like I did the first time, you see them all, and it like sticks out, and it's not really a good look. Yeah, I only wear a few and I'll show you how I put them in. And also I use this really dirty brush, sorry, gross. Um, just just a tangle teaser. I think this is from like TK Maxx. Um, just to brush it out, blend it. Um, 
So let's see, I did put a little bit of oil in my hair, um, which will make it slide a little bit, but I just back comb those bits and I actually forgot my back comb brush. So we're gonna have to just do it manually, but um, let's go. So what I do to get started is I just brush all my hair out. I did grab all of it. Like this is all of it that comes in the pack. That is a lot of hair. What I end up doing is, which I forgot my stuff, one sec. So yeah, what I do is try and just get the smallest bit of a section at the back. Probably you could have that much or that little. I mean, I don't have loads of hair, so I try to not, I try to be sparse with it. As this bit, as you know, it's very obvious when people have extensions and they push their hair forward and you see these little annoying bits hanging out. So what I tend to do from reading and watching a few people is actually probably one of the best cheat sheets I know to do it as it does make a difference and helps it blend in a little bit more. Um, so I take that, I've done it in so many different methods. I'm, I'm gonna just keep talking. Um, and I ended up just liking this one the best. Just ended up twisting it into basically like a mini bun. Yeah, as you can see, it looks like a little, a little bun. And I have different clips I use. I either use like little crocodile clips, which those are from Primark, and this little one, which I think I either took from my little sister, which is probably Primark. Um, and I end up just, it doesn't have to be neat. It's not gonna be seen. It's just to keep the little bits in place. with and put it there. Here's my three one. I always give it a brush and I wore them yesterday with a bit of a curl. And I'm sure everyone else will tell you in every video you watch, it's all pretty much the same. Take your middle one, center it on your head and then just clip it in. Try and get it even. And also this is the bit, like the trick I learned and not a lot of people talk about it. Cause sometimes if it's pinched the wrong way or, you know, it pulls some hair, it really hurts and you'll get a headache. And if you want to wear these all day, I recommend um, taking your time doing this to make sure it's perfect. Cause where it sits, is gonna make a big difference. There we go. Right. Now I look like I have a, um, I can't even think of the word now. Mullet, that's it. If only I could put a clip of my boyfriend when he put these in, just, just have a giggle. I don't know how you'll feel about that. Sorry, Dan. Right. So the next bit I'm gonna put in is the four clip and I like to stay below kind of like my eye level when it comes to clipping these in just because it's um less likely to show so I just take probably half an inch worth of hair down just to help start blending it in yes I know the colors are different warmths but it does work once I blend everything down just because my top hair is a bit warmer. So as you can see, just a little bit down and I'll clip this back up. And when you curl everything, it does blend in a lot nicer. So this is the bit, if I had my back comb, I would back comb my natural hair but I'll just use my fingers for now. Oops. There we go. It doesn't need much, and I don't like my hair to be tangly or, um, yeah, but it does help with the grip because when I wore them all day at work yesterday, the little one clip ones I'll show you, they kept sliding down. So it would have been best to do it to that. So I will put my four clip in.
And again, give it a brush. I just can't believe the quality of this hair. Like I get so many compliments, like when I wear them, like, wow, your hair looks so soft and silky. And like, sometimes I just go with it and say, oh, thanks. And not even say it's fake, but hey ho, take your wins. I paid for it, so it's mine. Um, so find, again, the center of your hair. And again, make sure you're pinching it to the, or like sliding it onto the right here so it's not pulling it and making it uncomfortable. Right, there we go. As you can see, defo needs more blending in, but it's getting, it's getting there. Right, so, See, I can tell that's gonna give me a headache today. So I just move it down one, and there we go. So brush it out. I'm sure this video angle's not great. Okay. And that's what I usually do just for the big sections, because it also comes with um, two, two or one more three piece which is slightly thicker um which is one i did wear yesterday but it, i don't really notice it makes a difference if you want more volume what i would tend to do is just clip it onto the other hair so you're not creating another line because then you kind of go above that place where i really don't want to go above um like it's okay if it's at the top of your head but the ones that come to the front I don't really do that. So if you wanted to add another three piece, go ahead, it comes with the kit. But like I said, don't feel obligated to use it. So I end up taking these. Right, we are getting there. Another thing, like, I'm just being honest here. I'm no expert, and this is just, like, really how I do it. And it's something I just wanted to share with people, because I think they're great, and they give you so much more confidence. Well, they do, and I know it's so much more than your looks, but it does make you feel good, and when you feel good, you feel more on top of your game. You, you know, again, being confident really, really does help, and it's something I've always struggled with, um, in terms of looks and you know believing in yourself and I yeah so it does help and it's really given me confidence to believe in myself without one less thing to worry about so we're doing the next bit quick coffee break so right, I like to just see the whole point of really doing the front ones for me is to fill this this area in um, comes with four wefts and again I pre-curled them like well I curled this is a day old curl and sometimes just to make my life easier I just like to see which way the curl goes um, so yeah I got my two sometimes I'll put the other two in depending how full I want to go um, so with these I don't want to get it dirty I kind of just like go at an angle and think going up and just flick it over. You'll probably see. Right. So I'll add. Oh, they're just so pretty. I love them. So, when I always looked it up, it does look a bit silly. Right, so I try and add that there. Really, I should be back combing it just because my hair is super, like, I just cleaned it and I put oil in my hair to try and get it back healthy. I ramble a lot. Right. So 
Sorry for the funny lighting. It's So I do that to fill it in. And you know, sometimes I'm thinking, mm, do I add another one? But I'm going into town today and I don't know if it's gonna be windy or not. I haven't gone out. Um just to see how I get on with it. But once I curl it, it will be blended. I am now thinking, do I want to move it further down? But I do, we'll see. Because it will naturally progressively move lower and lower down during the day. I like my makeup. Um saying that about my hair like oh did you not see that okay well another reason for why I did my extensions is if you probably can't already tell from my name the celiac next door I have celiac disease and um, one of the biggest things I noticed is when I get glutened or I'm having like kind of I say flare up this really isn't working there so I'll go on a bit um, I notice my hair starts to thin and if I'm not taking my collagen or my biotin, I do notice a difference and you know, that's one thing. And also bleaching my hair, I've noticed a change, well obviously noticed a change in my hair being thinner and breaking and yeah, it's, it was upsetting at first, but finally I'm getting to the color I want and I like it and yeah, so thing we do for beauty is kind of, you know, you gotta pay for that price. All right, so I clipped that one in a bit of a different way. I don't know if you saw, like just sliding it in um, just to make sure it has the hair. Cause sometimes when you go too against the head, I end up like, am I getting it? Am I missing it? I'll never know. Um, like, yeah, let's, let's give this one a new home cause I'm not feeling it. So I'm really wanting like trick I heard from people that they do is they angle these one pieces so it's like almost tilted so if I do that it pulls out a little more I just don't want to get a headache like when I have a headache it is game over for me you know anyone else get like that like if I have a headache I'm done for the day I really am um, okay, sorry for the sun. Right guys, so the lighting is amazing and it's a bit high for me to set my camera up on. I know, problems of being five foot two, but um, right, I think I'm just gonna put a soft curl into it just to like blend my pieces in. I quite like it when it's been like soft waves next day, keeping it almost kind of kind of straight, so. Um, I can't even remember what, oh, it's a Tresemme. It's a Tresemme. Um, I've had this curler for so long. I'm trying to think, I think I've probably had it since I went to uni and I graduated in 2015. I never thought I'd feel old, but I'm starting to think, wow, you know, I see people at uni and they look like fetuses. So, <laughs> sorry if you're at uni. I mean, nothing's wrong with looking like a fetus, but um, and that's my mom. Um, yeah, just, I've had this a long time. I love it. I use it. It's like my go-to when I'm having a bad hair day. This will fix it. This will sort it. Um, so yeah, I am just going to add a soft curl into it. My mom, I'm going to be meeting her today for coffee lunch. Her treat. Um, so yeah, what I like to try and do is start with the front. Um, and then I just want to make sure I just blend in the pieces. So I don't want a full curl. Like yesterday I had proper curly, proper curly, curly hair. Um, but today I am just gonna add a bit of a wave to it. So I'm not gonna wrap it all the way. Just kind of, just kind of there. See what happens. Sorry, I'm standing really close because I don't have glasses on. And I'm buying my back. I mean, who needs heat resistant when you have a radiator? I just want to make sure you guys are safe. 
in it. Okay. This is me not being able to make up my mind how I want to wear it. So I think I'm just going to go with some just textured, textured waves. You know, it's just, you know, I don't want to look silly. But since I've been getting a lot of positive comments on it and yeah, it's nice to feel me again because as a little girl I always had, little girl, young woman, teenager, I always had really lovely long hair. And I was brunette and dark and yeah, so. Let's see if I can give you uh, a look. Right. So here we go. I think this is it for me. I'm just gonna leave it because I'll probably look in this video and be like, Lauren, you missed a bit. But that's what my mom will tell me today if I've missed any. So like I said, you do see the warmth colours. But when I'm out, no one like has ever picked up on it. And even like my mom, who's the pickiest person, and she wasn't really like, oh, you don't need extensions. And um, she didn't really notice. She thought they looked amazing and was really happy with them. So I don't know how much you can see in this light, but yeah, I just gotta go brush it out. And that's it. I know I've rambled on so long, um, but thanks for watching and for support. Like I said, this is my first video and I've not done one and I'm learning and I'd like to get better as it's quite nice. Like I really want to share what I've gone through, some things I've learned because I've watched YouTube videos and Instagram videos for so long and I always thought, I don't think I could do it. Um, people are going to laugh at me, are going to make comments and I just thought I'm going to face my fears like I'm going to go for it and do one and yeah I really appreciate it so if you do like it I'll do what they all say subscribe I'm going to try and do some more um, come up with more content and yeah I really hope hopefully this journey could be something and yeah, thanks guys. And I'll link my Instagram, which at the moment is very food related and about celiac and how I've been handling it. And that will probably be something I do next is talking about my celiac journey and where I'm going with it and how I handle it. And yeah. All right. Thanks. Thanks, you guys.